Well, according to data from the Center for American Progress, one third less people than a decade ago are enrolling in programs to become teachers. But despite the pandemic, some still feel drawn to the classroom. One such success story is a student in Alamance County who says it was the early college program that really helped to spur her into action. And it's a great example of what's right with our schools. That's okay, just show us what you have. For Emma Pickard, this has to be a bit of deja vu. Less than two years ago, she was in Kevin Sharon's math class as a student, and now she's back, student teaching. I love being back because I loved being in his class as a student, and so I love being back as a student teacher and getting to work even closer with him and work on lessons and plans and different ways to explain problems, and I love being able to see that side of things. Emma could be the poster child for Alamance Burlington School System's early college at Alamance Community College. While in high school, she was able to complete two associate's degrees free of charge and enter UNC Chapel Hill as a junior. It was a really great experience. I loved doing it as a student because it gave me an opportunity to challenge myself and to engage in more difficult coursework, which I enjoyed and it gave me an opportunity to explore different areas that I hadn't thought about before. Now she's getting ready to graduate from UNC in May with a four-year degree in math, and she'll follow in the footsteps of her parents as an educator. What I love about teaching is being able to connect with students and to watch them grow and learn and understand why things happen and how things happen, not just how to get an answer. And for math, I love that it's something that we all use every day and that can connect all of us. Her former teacher says she brings so much insight to his classroom, especially to his students while they're learning remotely. She can answer the questions that so many teachers have of what's happening on the other side of the Zoom call. What is it when you're just sitting there? What is it difficult? You know, is it taking the notes? Is it what did they just say? Because you might have noise in the background. Clarify to you how the three by three works. Not only is she brilliant and could probably teach anything at the high school or college level, the fact that she went here, sat where they were, and is now navigating Chapel Hill, also on Zoom, she can relate to the stresses of, well, you don't know what it's like. Well, back in my day, it was just two years ago. So everything that they're experiencing, um, she's experiencing it as a college student simultaneously. In fact, over half of her time at Carolina has been online. That's one thing that I bring as a student teacher to these kids is that I know what it's like to be an online student. Learning to teach during this pandemic has given her a look at another facet of a profession she can't wait to enter full time. It's actually been really encouraging and that education bounces back really quickly. Um, you would think if you take kids out of the classroom, you would be messing up education massively. And while education has definitely looked different this past year than it has before, kids are still learning, we're still teaching, and things keep going. And for Emma Pickard, that all adds up to her dream job. Emma is part of the North Carolina Teaching Fellows Program. It provides money each semester to highly qualified students that are committed to teaching in special education or STEM fields. Emma, of course, is going to teach math, but she says she's not just stopping with her undergraduate degree. She hopes to get her master's and then her doctorate.